Sabbatical Year and Jubilee by Executive Committee of the Editorial Board. Judah David Eisenstein Table of Contents. Biblical Injunctions. Reasons for Observance. 50 and 49 Year Cycles. Palestinian Area of Shemitah. Rabbinical Extensions, Bankruptcy. Relaxation and Observance. Shemitah and Palestinian Colonist. Talmudic and Samaritan Calculation of Jubilees. Various Dates. Biblical Injunctions. The Septenate or Seventh Year, during which the land is to lie fallow, and the celebration of the fiftieth year after seven sabbatical cycles. As regards the latter, the Hebrew term, Yobel, refers to the blast of the shofar on the Day of Atonement announcing the Jubilee Year, Kam, equals, trumpets of ram's horns, Josh, Vi, for, though Ibn Ezra thinks it signifies the transfer of properties, Kam, Issa, Zvi, 7. So important was the law regarding the Jubilee that, like the Decalogue, it was ascribed to a legislation on Mount Sinai, Lef, XXV. 1. It was to come into force after the Israelites should be in possession of Palestine, when you come into the land which I give you, Ib. The law provides that one may cultivate his field and vineyard six years, but, in the seventh year shall be, a Sabbath for the Lord, during which one shall neither sow nor reap as hitherto for his private gain, but all members of the community, the owner, his servants, and strangers, as well as domestic and wild animals, shall share in consuming the natural or spontaneous yield of the soil. The fiftieth year, I, that following the last year of seven sabbatical cycles, is the jubilee, during it the land regulations of the sabbatical year are to be observed, as is also the commandment, ye shall return every man unto his possession, Ib. Verse 10, indicating the compulsory restoration of hereditary properties, except houses of laymen located in the wall cities, to the original owners or their legal heirs, and the emancipation of all Hebrew servants whose term of six years is unexpired, or who refuse to leave their masters when such term of service has expired. Generals V. Ui. 6. R. 33b. C. Josephus. And. V. 8. Paragraph 28. The regulations of the sabbatical year include also the annulment of all monetary obligations between Israelites, the creditor being legally barred from making any attempt to collect his debt. Dude. X. V. 1. At sec. The law for the Jubilee year has not this provision. Technically, the Talmud distinguishes the sabbatical year for the release or quick claim of loans as Shemita, more distinctly, Shemitat Kasafim, money release, in contradistinction to Shebiat, seventh, or Shemitat Karot, land release. There is this difference, however, that loans are not annulled before the expiration equals the end of every seven years, as the Mosaic law, Ib, provides, whereas the land release, the Shemitat Karot, begins with the seventh year. The general term for the sabbatical cycle is Shabuah equals Septenate, Sen, V, 1. Reasons for observance. Several reasons are advanced for these laws. 1. In the Kabbalah, the number 7 is a symbolic division of time, and is sacred to God. The week of creation consisted of seven days, the last being the Sabbath. The Feast of Weeks is so called because it occurs seven weeks after Passover, the 50th day being Pentecost. These days are parallel to the years of Shemitah and Yobel. The duration of the world is 7,000 years, the 7,000th year being the millennium, the great Sabbath of the Lord, Sen. 97a. 2. The PHYSICO economic and socialistic theories are that rest from labor is an absolute necessity both for animal and for vegetable life, that continuous cultivation will eventually ruin the land. The law of the sabbatical year acts also as a statute of limitation or a bankruptcy law for the poor debtor in discharging his liability for debts contracted and in enabling him to start life anew on an equal footing with his neighbor, without the fear that his future earnings will be seized by his former creditors. The Jubilee year was the year of liberation of servants whose poverty had forced them into employment by others. Similarly, all property alienated for money considerations to relieve poverty was to be returned to the original owners without restoration of the amount which had been advanced. 3. The rabbinical view, however, is that these laws were made to promote the idea of theocracy, that one year in seven might be devoted to the Lord, as the weekly Sabbath is devoted to rest from manual labor and to the study of the law. The Jubilee was instituted primarily to keep intact the original allotment of the Holy Land among the tribes, and to discountenance the idea of servitude to men. For unto me the children of Israel are servants, they are my servants, Lev. XXV. 55. And they shall not be servants to servants, as God's bond has the priority, Sifra. Bihar Sinai, VA. 1. That the main object was to keep intact each tribe's inheritance is evidence from the fact that Shemitah and Yobel were not inaugurated before the Holy Land had been conquered and apportioned among the tribes and their families. The first Shemitah year is said to have occurred 21 years after the arrival of the Hebrews in Palestine, and the first Yobel 33 years later, Ib. I. 3. The Jubilee was proclaimed throughout all the land unto all the inhabitants thereof. Only when all the tribes were in possession of Palestine was the Jubilee observed, but not after the tribes of Reuben and Gad and the half-tribe of Manasseh had been exiled, Ib. 2. 3. Nor was it observed during the existence of the Second Temple, when the tribes of Judah and Benjamin had been assimilated, Sheb. X. 2. R. 32b. After the conquest of Samaria by Shalmanzer, the Jubilee was observed nominally in the expectation of the return of the tribes. According to some authorities, Jeremiah brought them back, Ib. 33a, until the final exile by Nebuchadnezzar. 50 and 49 year cycles. There is a difference of opinion in the Talmud as to whether the Jubilee year was included or excluded from the 49 years of the seven cycles. The majority of rabbis hold that the Jubilee year was an intercalation and followed the seventh sabbatical year, making two fallow years in succession. Got after both had passed, the next cycle began. They adduce this theory from the plain words of the law to hallow the 50th year, and also from the assurance of God's promise of a yield in the sixth year sufficient for maintenance during the following three years, until the ninth year, until her fruits come in, love. XXV, 22, which, they say, refers to the Jubilee year. Judah Hanasi, however, contends that the Jubilee year was identical with the seventh sabbatical year, R. H. 9A. Yid. 36A. Come. Rajiad Log. The opinion of the Jinnim and of later authorities generally prevails that the Jubilee, when in force during the period of the first temple, was intercalated, but that in the time of the second temple, when the Jubilee was observed only nominally, it coincided with the seventh sabbatical year. In post exilic times, the Jubilee was entirely ignored, though the strict observance of the Shemeda was steadily insisted upon. This, however, is only according to rabbinical enactment. Twos. To Yid. 36A. S. V. Bizamen. As by the Mosaic law, according to our Judah, Shemeda is dependent on the Jubilee and ceases to exist when there is no Jubilee. Yid. L.C. and Rajiai Lok. 
that the sabbatical year was observed during the existence of the second temple is evident from the history of the Maccabees by Mac. Vi. 51, 55. The mission includes in the examination of witnesses questions as to dates in giving which there must be specified the sabbatical year, the year, month, week, day, and hour, Zen. V. 1. Palestinian area of Shemitah. The area of the Holy Land over which the Shemitah was in force included in the time of the first temple all the possessions of the Egyptian emigrants. Ol Mizraim, which territory extended south to Gaza, east to the Euphrates, and north to the Lebanon Mountains. Ammon and Moab in the southeast were excluded. In the period of the second temple, the area of the Babylon emigrants, Ol Babel, headed by Ezra, was restricted to the territory west of the Jordan and northward as far as Acre, Akko. The rabbis extended the Shemitah to Syria in order not to tempt settlers of that Holy Land to emigrate thither, yet. IV. 3. The area of Palestine was divided into three parts, Judea, Galilee, and the Transjordan districts, where Shemitah existed in more or less rigorous observance, see Sheb, Ix, and Ver, Ad Log. The duration of the Shemitah year was from autumn to autumn, beginning with New Year's Day, but as a precaution against any infringement of the law, the rabbis extended the time and prohibited sowing and planting 30 days before Rosh Hashanah. Still later they prohibited the sowing of grain from Passover and the planting of trees from Pentecost preceding the Shemitah year in order not to derive any benefit from the fruits bearing in that year, Sheb, I, 1, 2. 1. The extension of the time is known as Arab Shibiyat equals preceding the seventh. The penalty for non-observance of the Shemitah year is exile for eating the fruits of the seventh year, i. of the sixth year's growth, pestilence, Abbot v. 11, 12. Rabbinical extensions, bankruptcy. The rabbinical enactment extended the Shemitah Kasafim or money released to countries other than the Holy Land, but confined the Shemitah Kar OT or land released to Palestine within Ezra's boundary lines of occupation during the period of the Second Temple. The money release was obviously independent of the Holy Land and was intended to free from his debts the poor in every land and at a certain period of time. On the other hand, this bankruptcy law checked all business enterprises which the Jews were engaged in after they had largely abandoned agricultural pursuits. Hillel the Elder then amended the law by his institution of the Prosbol. In addition to this subterfuge, there are various exceptions which exclude the following debts from the operation of Shemitah, wages, merchandise on credit, loans on pledges, a note guaranteed by mortgage, one turned over to the Bedin for collection, according to the theory of the Prosbol, and one which stipulates that the debtor waives the Shemitah defense as regards this particular note, but he cannot waive the law in general, Sheb, She, Yer, Adlog. Git. 36A, B. 37A. The Shemitah Kasafim was undoubtedly intended for the poor debtor, though the rich man also might take advantage of the general law. The Mishnah, however, plainly expresses the rabbi's satisfaction with the debtor who does not make use of the Shemitah in order to be relieved of his obligations. Sheb. X. 4. The rabbis nevertheless desired that the law of the Shemitah shall not be forgotten. Git. 36B. Maimonides, in his responsa, rules that Shemitah is not operative against orphans, but that all other debts are wiped out. Incidentally, he says, the sabbatical year occurred last year, 1507 of the Seleucid Nera equals 4,956 of creation equals 1195 CE, Pierre Hador, number 127, Amsterdam, 1765. Apparently the Jews of Spain, in the 13th century, did not observe the Shemitah Kasafim, and in Germany the Jews made use of the Prosbol. When Asher B. G. L. 1250 1328 went to Spain, he was surprised at the violation of the law of SHEMIH, finding that collection was exacted of notes that had passed many Shemitahs without a prosbol. Asheri, responsa, rule 77, paragraph, paragraph 2, 4, 6. Neither Jacob Asheri in his turn nor Joseph Carroll in his Shulhan. Eric, Yoreda, mentions the SHEMI Takarka OT and Yobel, evidently considering the law obsolete, but both of them refer to the SHEMI Tak Kasafim in prosbol, Hosh and Mishpat, paragraph 67, which they claim are operative both in and out of Palestine. Moses is Searles adds, however, that the majority of Jewish authorities in Germany are indifferent toward ignore the custom of the Shemitah. He dates the latest Shemitah in the year 5,327, 1567 CE, and says the next was to occur in 5,334, equals 1573 CE. Relaxation in observance. Israelian, in a responsum, Tara Mad number 304, explains the relaxation in the observance in European countries as due to the fact that the rabbinical extension was originally for the purpose that the law of Shemitah may not be forgotten, and that it was apparently intended to apply to Palestine proper and its neighboring countries, Babylon and Egypt, but not elsewhere. Joseph Colin, responsa, number 92, decides that the Shemitah defense is a very weak one, consequently a creditor is believed without an oath when he says that he has lost the prosbol. He rules, as regards the enforcement of the Shemitah Kasafim, that the Batin should be guided by the prevailing Jewish custom in the particular country. The Shemitah Kasafim is equally relaxed in Palestine today. The principal reason seems to have been that the fixed date of payment, the guarantee attached, and the terminology of the present day notes aggregate the law of Shemitah. The Shemitah Kar OT, however, has been generally observed in Palestine, and during the Shemitah year, the Jews of that holy land eat only of the products grown in the Transjordanic districts. Schwartz, Tebat Haras, Ed, Lunas, P. 20, Jerusalem, 1900. Shemitah and Palestinian colonists. Since the Zionist movement began to encourage agriculture in Palestine, the observance of Shemitah has become a problem for solution. The leaders of the movement, who had the interest of the colonists at heart and feared that the Shemitah might jeopardize their existence, claimed that the law is now obsolete. The Jewish periodicals, especially Hamilis, strenuously objected to enforcing the law of Shemitah upon the colonists. When the Shemitah year 5649 equals 1888-89 approached, the question was submitted to the chief rabbis in Europe and Palestine. Rabbi Isaac Elhain Inspector was inclined to be lenient and advocated a nominal sale of the land to a non-Jew and the employment of non-Jewish laborers during Shemitah. The Sephardic Hakam Bashi, Jacob Sol Ayashar concurred in this decision, see his Simhal Aish P. 107. But the Ashkenazic rabbis in Jerusalem opposed any subterfuge and issued the following declaration. 
Ahabazot, October 26, 1888, number 6, Jew, world, November 16, 1888, as the year of the Shemitah, 5649, is drawn nigh, we inform our brethren, the colonists, that, according to our religion, they are not permitted to plow or sow or reap or allow Gentiles to perform these agricultural operations on their fields, except such work as may be necessary to keep the trees in a healthy state, which is legally permitted. Inasmuch as the colonists have hitherto endeavored to obey God's law, they will, we trust, not violate this biblical command, by order of the Beddin of the Ashkenazim at Jerusalem, signed by the rabbis J.L. Diskin and Samuel Saland, and appeal, signed by prominent Jews in Jerusalem, for funds to enable the colonists to observe the Shemitah was directed to the Jews outside the Holy Land. Dr. Hildesheim, as president of the Society Lehmann Zion, in Frankfurt on the Main, collected donations for this purpose. Baron Edmund de Rothschild, being informed by Rabbi Diskin that the law of Shemitah is valid, ordered the colonists under his protection in Palestine to cease work during the sabbatical year. Talmudic and Samaritan calculation of Jubilees. The exact year of the Shemitah is in dispute, and different dates are given. According to Talmudic calculations, the entrance of the Israelites into Palestine occurred in the year of creation 2489, and 850 years, or 17 Jubilees, passed between that date and the destruction of the first temple. The first cycle commenced after the conquest of the land and its distribution among the tribes, which occupied 14 years, and the last Jubilee occurred on the 10th day of the month, Tishri, in the 14th year after that the city was smitten, Azak, Exel, 1, which was the New Year's Day of the Jubilee, Ab. Zara 9b, R, 11b, 12b. Joshua celebrated a first jubilee and died just before the second. Sailor, Olamur, Ed, Ravner, she, 24b, 25b, XXX, 69b, Wilna, 1895. The Samaritans in their book of Joshua date the first month of the first sabbatical cycle and of the first jubilee cycle as beginning with the crossing of the Jordan and the entrance of the Israelites into their possession, and they insist that the date was 2794 of creation, according to the chronology of the Torah and the true reckoning known to the sages since the flood. Karm Shamron, Ed. Raphael Kirchheim, paragraph 15, p. 63, Frankfurt on the Main, 1851. The first and the second temple, the Talmud says, were destroyed on the closing of the sabbatical year, Motsi Yishibiyat. The 16th Jubilee occurred in the 18th year of Josiah, to reign 31 years. The remaining 13 years of his reign, together with the 11 years of those of Jehoiakim and Jehoiakim and the 11 years of Ed of Zedekiah, 2 Kings XXV. Fix the first exilic year as the 36th year of the Jubilee cycle, or the 25th year of the captivity of Jehoiakim, or 14 years from the destruction of the holy city, R. And Ab. Zara LC, C. Rashi I. Lok. The Babylonian captivity lasted 70 years. Ezra sanctified Palestine in the seventh year of the second entrance, after the sixth year of Darius, when the temple was dedicated, Ezra V. 15, 16, VA. 7. The first cycle of Shemitah began with the sanctification of Ezra. The second temple stood 420 years, and was destroyed, like the first, in the 421st year, on the closing of the Shemitah, R. 13a. Various dates. The Talmud gives as a rule for finding the year of Shemitah to add one year and divide by seven the number of years since the destruction of the second temple, or to add two for every 100 years and divide the sum by seven. Ab. Zara 9b. The difference among the Jewish authorities as to the correct Shemitah year is due to the varied interpretation of the words closing of Shemitah as meaning either the last year of the cycle or the year after the cycle, also as to the beginning of the exile of Shemitah from the year when the destruction of the temple occurred or from the year after. There is another version of the Talmudic rule mentioned above, namely, to add two years towards a duck five years from the number of years since the destruction. Ab. Zara 9b. Maimonides gives the date of a Shemitah year occurring in his time as the year 1107 from the destruction of the temple, 1487 of the Seleucid Nera, 4936 of creation, equals 1175 CE, yet, Shemitah we x. 4. I. He begins the cycle with the year following that of the destruction. Rash I's interpretation is that the destruction occurred at the closing of Shemitah equals after the cycle had been closed with the previous year, and he makes the year in which the destruction occurred as the first year of the new cycle. Rabbi Nudam agrees with Rashi as to the date of the destruction, but differs from him in asserting that the Shemitah fell in the year of the destruction, which was the closing year of the cycle. He fixes the Shemitah at the time of his writing as the year 5012 of creation equals 1251 CE, 2s, 2 ab, Zara 9b, sv, and this result agrees with that of Maimonides, though it is reached by a different method of calculation. Rabbanu Hananiel claims that the closing of Shemitah, that is, Shemitah, was the year after the destruction of the temple. The year of the Shemitah was finally settled according to the view of Maimonides, which agreed with the most plausible interpretation of the correct Talmudic text and also with the practice of the oldest members of the Jewish communities in the Orient by whom the Shemitah years were observed. Evidence to this effect was given at a conference of rabbis called in Jerusalem, who concurred in the opinion expressed by the rabbis from Seft, Damascus, Salonika, and Constantinople, fixing the Shemitah year of their time as 5313 equals 1552, as carried. C for Hasidim, ed. Warsaw, 1879, p. 83. Dates of sabbatical and jubilee years, according to the Talmudical calculation. Period. Year of creation. Year of settlement in Palestine. B.C. or C.E. number of sabbatical years. Number of jubilee years. B.C. 50-year cycle crossing of the Jordan 2489, 1271. Conquest and allotment of Palestine 2503. 1257. First sabbatical year 2510-7-1250. 1. First jubilee year 2553-5012-07. 7. 1. Exile of the Ten Tribes 3187 684 573 95 point six thirteen point three four destruction of the first temple 3338 835 422 117 16 point three five forty nine year cycle second entrance to Palestine 3408 from destruction of the temple 352 127 18 point seven Salois of the Nera commenced 3448 312 135 point five eighteen point four seven destruction of the second temple 3828 CE 68 69 187, 26.35 exilic sabbatical cycle commenced 3829, 169, 70. Current sabbatical year 5,600.